Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the NBA Rising Stars Challenge. Get ready for some thrilling end-to-end -end action as the best first and second year players in the NBA do battle on the hardwood. Alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Yeah, and Kevin, you talked about some thrills being in store for us tonight. These young guys are all capable of making a spectacular play at any given time. And I, I got a feeling we'll see plenty of them here tonight. Absolutely. Well, without question, I mean, if this game has taught us anything over the last few years, over the years in general, it's there isn't a highlight reel big enough to capture all of the incredible high-flying action. Looking at the starting five for USA. We've got Murray. Smith is out there with Dan Carroll. Then it's Ivy. And it's Matherin in at the two. And, and it's just something about the Rising Stars challenge. It, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Now here is Smith. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Murray. It's rebounded by Giddy. On offense, here's Team World. Barnes outside. Here's Shengu. Drops in the layup for two. You brought the big stage, these young guys around tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And, and it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Barnes kicks to Mobley and the wide open shot from Green. And he's good on the three ball. And for a guy who hasn't been able to get a ton of minutes this season, great that he's had a chance to show off his skill set here tonight. And he does have some skills to show off. I mean, his opportunity for more playing time is going to come soon enough. He just has to stay patient. And here is Murray following Jalen Green's three. Floats one up, and it's Matherin missing. And we've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. I mean, and playing in an event where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. And so it looks like it's still a USA's ball. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. A defensive play like that early in the game can go a long way. Establishes an attitude that you want to have during the game. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now they need a basket. Team World leading by seven. Now here's Giddy. Outside Green. Pass to Shengun. Outside Green. Shot clock at six. Giddy, no one around him. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Here's Matherin. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Ivy. USA with another miss. And it's Barnes with the ball for Team World. Green inside, working on Smith. Fades back, and it's in there. Green's got five points so far. 
Sometimes green just makes it look so easy. USA trails by nine. So timeout called here, the first for USA. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Smith the pass to Ivy. Now here's Ben Carroll, covered by Mobley. And here's Ben Carroll. He's been quiet so far, still no points in the game. USA with another miss. Team World leading by nine. Giddy kicks to Green. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. So it's USA now looking for their first basket of the game. Passes it to Ivy. Over Giddy. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Green deciding where to go with it. Dishes it to Mobley. Green the pass to Giddy. Nobody near Barnes. Good on the three-point shot. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. And here's Bancaro following the three-pointer by Scotty Barnes. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And out of bounds as Team World gains possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Both teams deciding to change it up. Team World leading by 12. Wagner outside. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Wagner fearless in his attack and aggressive with it as well, forcing the defense to foul him. First trip to the line for him here. Two shots. That's good from Wagner. No denying, the future is certainly bright for Wagner. He's a superb scorer already who also is growing as a passer. And Team World making a change here. Murphy's checked in. Griffin's checked in for USA. Both free throws good from Wagner. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. The USA calls time here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. 
And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Williams against Wagner to stop the run. Tries again, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Really, uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time and if they don't think about it at least they might be distracted by your presence and so he hits both and Wagner's got the ball here for team world and foul on the shot he'll shoot two at the free throw line Hey, I can't fake it, fellas. I mean, Franz Wagner, 6'9", can make threes, mobile, agile. I'm actually glad I'm just sitting back watching these guys instead of trying to guard them. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Franz Wagner taking two shots. from Wagner. He makes one of two that time. USA trails by 13. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Inside, here's Mobley, and Mobley throws it down. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. So it's USA now, following the bucket by Team World. Williams can't hit. Here's Grimes, defended by Griffin. And there's the pass to Murphy. Mobley a screen on Williams. Wagner kicks to Mobley. It's deflected. They recover it. Over Williams. Here's Nemhard. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. 149 left in the first quarter. Knocks it loose. 11 feet away. Rebound by Team World. Mobley's got five rebounds tonight. Williams against Wagner. He kicks to Murphy. Good ball movement here by Team World. Up top, Wagner. From past the arc. And it's Alvarado missing. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Pass to Nemar. Down low. Lays it up and banks it in. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Team World leading by 13. 
Alvarado passes to Wagner. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Team World shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls, and USA making a change here. Duran's checked in. Free throws good from Wagner. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Nemhard, the pass to Sohan. Over to the left wing. Pass to Duran. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. For the three. And it's Wagner with the rebound. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backfield. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Shot from the top of the key. That shot is off. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And so it's Team World. Their lead at 15 going into the break. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. A little light on the fouls in terms of what's been called tonight. And that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically. If that makes any sense, the officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. I'll bring Shangoon out there with Barnes. Then there's Jalen Green. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's Murphy in at the small forward position. And for USA, we've got Durham. Ivy is out there with Smith. And it's Matherin in a two guard. Scotty Barnes. First personal foul, first team foul. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Team World? To me, it's been the ball movement. That's been the key. I mean, going from good to great. Not settling for a good shot, making that extra pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. And another thing, guys, they've been very active tonight, frequently creating scoring opportunities off turnovers. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw, good. And so Green will bring it up for Team World. Passes it to Giddy. Back to Green. Kicks to Murphy. The pass to Giddy. Pocket six. There's the triple. The shot, no good. So USA will take it the other way. And there's a whistle. That goes on Scotty Barnes. That'll be his second foul of the game. Maurice checked in for USA. 
In for USA, Keegan Murray. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Now, here's Ivy. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Six on the shot clock. Trying to find Smith. He's got it now. Murray outside. He kicks it to Ivy. To the inside. And stolen by Shangun. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The pass. Oh, wow. You know, we always get some great dunks in this game, and I think we can add that to the list. Check out the reaction. Listen to that. I mean, that slam was a raise the roofer. Here's Matherin. Murray, no good. Outside, Green. Giddy, the pass to Green. Pass to Shengun. The three ball trains the three pointer. Shengun's got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, teammate to teammate on the assist that time. Well, the communication between them, that's what we see every game during the regular season, and it's on display here in the All Star week as well. Now, here is Smith. Pass to Matherin. He lobs up the alley oop pass, and stolen by Shengun. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. Shabari Smith picks one up. For Team World, they have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. Two shots. Shoot two. That free throw, no good. Van Carroll's checked in for Duran. He's good on the second. Well, as we know, it's here to stay, but people continue to voice their opinion on the play-in tournament format. Uh, where do you fall? I like it, Kevin. I really do. It's creative. It's innovative. It adds a level of excitement, that do-or-die feel that you sometimes don't get and lets us a game seven in the NBA playoffs. I really think it's a good add-on. And stolen by Shangun. Green with the ball. Now Smith defending, and Green gets it to go. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now, here's Ben Carroll. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. They need this, and it's good on the way in. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Pass to Shengu. Here's the screen. Green left side. Offline with his three. USA trails by 20. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. Williams, he's checked in for Murray. Now, Giddy. There's the pass to Shengu. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Shengun's got five points now in the quarter. Shengun's gone three for three from the floor. 
on the wing, Williams. Pass to Ben Carroll. To the paint and stolen by Giddy. At the teardrop, it's hauled in by USA. Catherine passes to Smith, and it's slammed in by Smith. It really does make the game easy for your teammates, and you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Pass to Green. Giddy with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Six to shoot. This one for three. And they recover it. Rebound by Williams. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Paolo Bancaro. That's his first foul. And Team World making a change here. Islands checked in. Team World leading by 20. To the middle. Williams against Giddy. Now, here's Shangu. Not a lot of room. Passes it to Highland. The tray. They get it back. Giddy. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. Bancaro a screen for Williams. The pass to Ivy. Shangun covering. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. First personal foul. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Shooting for USA. Walker Kessler at the line for two. And that one misses. <laughs> so neither attempt will fall that time for. Him. And working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going and maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Mobley misses. Mobley's gone two of five from the floor. Pass to Nemar. In the corner, it's Griffin. Sinks the triple. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep. Now, here's Mobley. It's hauled in by USA. And Carroll's got four rebounds in this game. Outside Griffin. Williams looking over the floor. 13 feet away. Again, USA. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Wagner. They get it again. Mobley wide open. Team World with another miss. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Here's Nemhard. And here's Bancaro. And finished off by Bancaro. 
The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Now, here's Shangu. He's got seven. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Here's Ben Carroll, and the layup falls. Ben Carroll's got six points in the quarter. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. Here's Highland. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. USA trails by 15. Kicks it to Williams. There's 48 seconds left now here in the second. Shoots over Wagner. Williams can't hit. Williams has gone one of four so far. Inside, here's Highland. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. And you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Substitution on the court. USA trails by 18. Pass to Duran. Now here's Griffin. USA moving the ball around. Duran the pass to Nemhart. They set the pick. Mobley with the block. Here's Grimes. Team World with another miss. Here's Nemhard. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Passes to Durant. A three. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. Ringing the bell. That's the way to close a quarter. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer. That'll do it. And that concludes the first half. Team World out in front, up by 15. And we'll be back right after this. time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge tonight. None of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game, and that excitement comes out onto the court. Team World leading by 15. Jalen Green is out there with Josh Giddy. Then it's Alperin Shangun. Then it's Barnes. And it's Mobley in at the power forward. Here's Shangun. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. When it's Green making plays for others, that's a really good sign for this squad. And for USA. Murray out there with Van Carroll. Then it's Ivy. And it's Smith. And it's Matherin in at the two-guard spot. Outside, Green. He's looking for Mobley and finds him. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is good. Mobley's got his third basket of the night. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Now, here's Ivy. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And out of bounds as Team World gains possession. And it's Team World with the ball. 22 is their biggest lead. 
Mobley finds Green. There's the pick. Now the pass to Shengu. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. USA trails by 21. Pass to Ivy. And here's Bancaro. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Here's Matherin. Guarded by Green. Four on the clock. Here's Ben Carroll. No oh, good with the triple. Team World leading by 21. Pass to Green. Now here's Shangu. He's got 11, and he makes that one. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Matherin. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Pass to Ivy. To the inside. Matherin, good. Passing in on the interior, making it look all too easy. And Barnes has got the ball here for Team World. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Now here's Green. Into the lane. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's Van Carroll. He has six. The pass to Matherin. Smith right side. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Second personal foul. First team foul. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Jabari Smith taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And Team World making a change here. Murphy's checked in. Williams, he's checked in for USA. Smith hits them both. Team World leading by 21. Pass to Mobley. Again, Team World good for two. And there isn't a lot that they're doing well right now defensively. They just seem to be disconnected defensively in the second. Ivy passes to Williams. Here's Matherin. USA moving the ball around. And it's good. Two points. Williams has got his second bucket of the night. Huge hole in the defense that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through. That's to Giddy from downtown. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Giddy has got five now. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Murphy against Williams. Passes it to Matherin. Out to the wing. And it's Murray with the jam. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Boy, both ends of that play, guys, were fantastic. Now here's Giddy. He's got five. On the wing, Green. Feeds it to Barnes. Five on the clock. And Team World, another three. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Here's Williams. 
And here's Ivy. Back to Smith. Launches a three. They get the rebound. Smith's gone 104 from the field. Green, the pass to Giddy. Barnes outside. Green inside the three-point line. The shot misses. So USA will take it the other way. And the pass to Matherin. He kicks to Ivy. Trying to find Smith. He's got it now. And he recovers it. The tenacity on that interior. Just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Now, Giddy. Eight points for him. If he passes to Mobley. Mobley sets the pick for Green. And it's Giddy in the corner. Team World with a fresh shot clock. Here's Mobley. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Jaden Ivey. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Team World. And guys, how about the unselfishness? And all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot. And you know, the more they penetrated, the more they realized the defense wasn't able to stop them. So they just kept doing it. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. Here's Nemhard. Kicks it to Williams. Pass to Griffin. Williams against Wagner. To the paint. Evan Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Out of bounds, it'll be USA's ball. And USA making a change here. Duran's checked in. So it's USA now. Nemhard the pass to Griffin. Pass to Nemhard. Right wing. Shot clock at five. From about 16, Mobley with the rebound. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Here's Alvarado. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. There's 154 left in the third quarter. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. And that's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket, too. Find the length. Find the length. One shot. And that one misses. That one drops for him. Six points for him. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here is Murphy. Shot by Grimes. No good. We've got 123 left to play in the third. Here's Nemar. The offensive rebound. Duran banked in off the glass. 
Durin's got his first points of the game. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Wagner left side. Out to the right wing. To the right side. Passes it to Alvarado. Now, here's Wagner. Defense is right there. Lays it up off the glass. Wagner's got seven points in the game. USA trails by 20. USA moving the ball around. They grab their own miss. Murphy with the steal. Here's Alvarado. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And it's Wagner missing. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Nemhard. 12 seconds left in the third. The pass to Griffin. That shot, no good. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Team World out in front, delivering the blowout. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play. And they are putting on a show. Josh Giddy is out there with Jalen Green. Then there's Scotty Barnes. Then it's Alperin Shangoon. And it's Grimes in at the three, the small forward. Down low, here's Durin. Got a piece of it. Outside, Green. The leadership of the NBA Players Association, Greg, has said they support expansion. And two cities, which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Yeah, well, I love both. Had the good fortune of playing in both cities. And I'd love to see a team in my hometown. But bottom line, more teams means more jobs. And that's a sentiment I think most can get behind. Here's Nemhard. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Pass to Grimes. Now Barnes. Yep, it counts. Barnes has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for Team World. It seems like they found their rhythm offensively and they're shooting the ball much better out of the break. Hey, I don't know if it was changing baskets or what, guys, but they clearly look a lot better offensively. And Green gets it to go. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Now USA with it. Pass to Matherin. Baseline try. USA with another miss. Catherine's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Giddy the pass to Green. To the inside. Trying to get open is Giddy. Shingun, no good. So it's USA now. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Passes it to Duran. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. And I'll tell you what, guys. I mean, with this combination of size and touch, he's a real threat from mid-range. There's Green with the three. And Team World, another three. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? No question about it. They found a nice rhythm from deep. And with the internet and social media, players Clark have so much more ability to engage with the public and be heard. 
is that important? Kevin, anytime you can empower folks to share their voice, their stories, and be authentic in their own way, I think that's a positive. Player empowerment is something that social media avails, not only to players, but I think to everybody. Um, it doesn't just bring attention to the game, but also causes and commitments players have to their respective communities and issues that are going on in the world. So I think it can be far more good than bad when you think about the platform of social media. Now, here's Green. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Jacks up a three. And it's Matherin with the rebound. Here's the pass to Nemhar. And here is Durham. Shangun covering. Barnes kicks to Giddy. Outside, Green. To the left wing. Here's Shangun. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. Good read from Green there, getting better at sensing when his teammates are wide open and need the ball. Here's Matherin, guarded by Green. Out left to the wing. They set the screen. Can they get it? Shingun with the rebound. shingun has got six rebounds now in the game. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Here's Green, and it's Green slamming it down. And the number of slams here we're seeing tonight off the charts. Somebody forgot to tell these guys the dunk contest is on a different night. A shot by Nemhard, no good. Shangun with the ball. Pass to Giddy. Fires from deep. That one, no good. Giddy has gone only 4 of 11 from the field. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Matherin. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? You want to have fun coming to work every day, Kevin. I mean, the, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. No good on that one. And Team World making a change here. Islands checked in. And USA making a change here. No good on the second free throw. On offense, here's Team World. A 14-2 run over the last bit. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Here's Highland. Outside, Green. And it's Green slamming it down. Yeah, I have to say the decibel level just rose about 300% in here. Certainly sounds like it. I mean, there's nothing these fans love to see more than highlight reel dunks, and that one certainly qualifies. Here's Matherin, following the bucket by Team World. To the paint, deflects the pass, and Duran slams it in. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him, and still, they never get old. Last season, of course, Marcus Smart on the Defensive Player of the Year. You know, Greg, it, it's rare to see a guard win it. Should perimeter players get more consideration from this point on? Uh, it's tough 
Kev, I, I do think they should. And I think the, the numbers, though, tend to favor the rim protectors. But it's only right to recognize great defense at every position, especially in an age of positionless basketball. The free throw dropped for Shangu. Maurice checked in for USA. Shangun hits them both. Now USA with it. Now here's Ivy. So the wing on the left. Right side Griffin. For a three, Murray. Rebound by Team World. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Barnes outside. Pass to Green. Now, here's Shengu. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got assist number eight now on the night. USA moving the ball around. Now, here's Ivy. He's covered closely, and he banks in the layup. Ivy's got his first bucket of the night. That's simply a gimme for a player of his caliber. I mean, the defense cannot allow that. Highland passes to Shengu. Passes it to Highland. Murray against Giddy. Shengun kicks to Giddy. And it's off from three point range. Giddy's gone just two of seven from long range. Here's Murray. That misses off the backboard. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. Now here's Giddy, and here's Green outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc, and then bury some threes. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Mobley, he's checked in for Team World. And USA also making a switch. Van Carroll's checked in. Green against Griffin. Green, the pass to Shengu. Here's Highland. And the three off target. Now USA with it. Ivy kicks to Griffin. Now the pass to Van Carroll. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Giddy. And here is Green. So no problem for Team World as they get the win. You can't say enough about how well all these young men competed here tonight. A great show for the fans and a clear picture of just how many talented up-and-comers we have here in the NBA. Great.